think we are live, folks. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful... God, it's about 12.30 on uh, Tucson time, yeah, Mountain Standard Time. So I don't know what time you guys are in time zone. Right, let me know in the live chat, okay? Let me know your location and your time, okay? Location and your time. L love to hear from you guys. So we are doing the live, live workflow, okay? Actually, the fact is we go live every day, so just the title, the live, sounds pretty, pretty cool there. And I'll put my gloves on here. I know people ask me, well, why do you wear gloves all the time? Uh, definitely hygiene, okay, hygiene, okay? So you want to have some professional look, but more importantly, my fingers, I've been having some finger issues, so uh, you don't want to see my ugly fingers there. That's why I'm, I'm using the black gloves on one side. Is that Michael Jackson wear white gloves and one, is that one hand? Is that true, Ryan? Is that Michael Jackson wear one gloves? Yeah. Yeah, oh. but I don't think you want to be emulating Michael no. Jackson. So anyway, so uh, we are doing the simulcast with the Discord at the moment. Uh, we do simulcast with the Discord members. Again, I mean, if you guys want to join me, join us on the Discord, just uh, send me a quick email on my YouTube channel there. And I send you the link, okay? I mean, I used to give out all the time, but I realized people, if people guys just join us and they never shows up. So uh, if I, you know, so this uh, Discord for, you know, people really wants to hang out with us, okay? Hang out with us. We have some, we have like, quite a few people on right now. And uh, you don't have to join the chat. Just, you know, if you guys want to listen, our BS, do so, okay? Uh, we don't. I mean, we don't talk, we only talk coffees, and we just hang out throughout the day. It is a lot of fun there, it is a lot of fun. Uh, let's see, we got JD is joining us, from, joining us from Atlanta, Georgia. I think you guys are about two hours ahead of us. We got Benjamin, we got Seraph is on as well. Uh, Benjamin actually asked me on the live chat, he said, do you think Flare 58 can support something like small coffee shop? You know what, by the way, uh, if you go to like, I believe Thailand, or Singapore, entire coffee shop is, uh, they only use Flare 58. Okay, they actually, they're using, the, not even 58, they're using Flare Pro. So I believe about now, they're gonna upgrade to 58 by now, but the entire coffee shop, they use Flare. So yes, yes, you can run it. I mean, once you get your workflow down, and you're gonna go pretty fast. Okay, you're gonna go pretty fast there. Okay, so this morning, uh, this afternoon, uh, I'm gonna, we're gonna do the live session on Flare 58. It's been warmed up already, okay? Machine is being warmed up. The great thing about 50 has a electro, uh, the heating elements. Okay, heating elements there, so it's great. Only thing you need is just the water. Uh, gooseneck kettle is preferred. Uh, if you use a regular kettle, I mean, you could do it, but it's hard to put the water in the, the water uh, reservoir. Uh, what else? So I'm, I'm going to be using the coffee from uh, my buddy at Good Brothers Coffee, uh, Costa Rica. So this is a very interesting <clears throat> uh, fermentation process. It's called Termico fermentation process. It's not a wash. Uh, so it's, it's very funky. Okay. Uh, if, you, <clears throat> if you do like longer extraction, like 30 second shot, it's very tastes like, you know, kind of like wine. Uh, I mean, that's that field. I think I talking to Ryan earlier. Uh, he feel the same way. Long, uh, long shot give you that kind of like wine, whiny, okay? Little funky. But you, you want to do a little faster shot. So that's what we're going to do this morning. Okay. And I'm going to be using the paper as well. I'm using the puck paper. And what else I'm going to be using? Uh, let's use a P64 as a grinder's, uh, grinder of choice this morning. Uh, use the HU burst. Comes with the HU burst. At some point, I'm going to be uh, installing Meisenberg again, okay? I got Meisenberg coming, uh, hopefully by end of this week. So we're going to put some Meisenberg, uh, try the different coffee uh, birds as well. And we have a lot of fun planned for you guys, uh, coming days and coming weeks. I still need to unbox. I got some couple of gadgets over there. I got to unbox that, sitting right that corner. And we're going to do some uh, coffee roasting from M2 Sniper. Okay, got coffee roasting as well. And uh, let's see, uh, next couple of days we do the lever machine 
Tuesday. I think we do on Tuesday or so Wednesday. I'm going to have a special guest on. I'm going to have a Bruce on. Bruce Papa's on. Hopefully he can join us. Uh, give us uh, tips and tricks using Lavaboni. I think, uh, I think that's the announcement uh, announce for this morning. Uh, again, we have uh, John just joining us as well from Richmond, Virginia. That's great. I'm glad you guys are here. Okay, it's about 12, 1230 right now. Goodness, I know it depends on the, your work schedule. I bet you a lot of you middle of work, okay? I know some of you listening, you know, on your, your smartphones and your laptop perhaps just listening as a background noise. That's great, okay? That's great as well. Again, the 1230 is not exactly work-friendly time, but hey, that's life, okay? We have a whole six people watching. All right, uh, enough talking here. Okay, let's brew some coffee. By the way, if you have Flare 50 at home, yeah, let me know. Okay, love. Let me know if you have Flare 58. Love to hear from you guys. Okay. Uh, let's grind some coffee beans first here. So this is, again, I'm, I'm using the 18-gram dose. I prefer to do quick RDT. I know some people use a lot of water. You know, I like to just, just tiny bit. Okay. Don't, don't go crazy, guys. Just go, just go, just a little bit of coffee. Even tiny bit of water, you see all the moisture? Yeah, so you don't need much. All right, so we're gonna, we are using the P64. Uh, grinder setting, goodness, I have no idea, guys. It's gonna be questionable. So I'm using the uh, P64 new, it's called Versa cup there. So this is more like the Weber, S similar to Weber, okay? Dosing cup. Magnetic. Works really good. Okay, I, I've been really enjoying using it. Let's be, put some beans in. Here, watch this. Man, smear is great though. Smear is fantastic. I'm just gonna tap it. Get all the coffee grinds up. Yeah. I'm just gonna tap here. Yeah, it works pretty good though. All right, let's do some little bit of puck prep. And I'm going to be using the puck paper, okay. Uh, you can do a couple different ways to do it. You can just uh, wet the paper before, okay. You can just wet it. Put it on. Oh, you can put the paper in there and then you can wet it. You know, it's up to you, all right. Uh, the reason why I like to use the puck paper, obviously you're going to have a little faster flow rates, the one actually increase the flow rate. And then after that, the cleanup is really easy. Easy cleanup. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna move it. Just shake it like so. That's it. So right there. And then some people likes to use like a, a WDT after, you know, make, Everything nice and flatter. Okay, we can do that as well. So it seems like everything is nice and flat there, even. I'm just gonna do, just tamp it, all right? Just let's tamp it and we should be good to go. I'm using the force tamper. I think, again, I'm going to go a little fast flow rate, hopefully around like 
20 to 25 seconds and one to like two point uh, 2.5 ratio so 18 in around like 40 to like 42 gram out okay and then let's not forget the flare puck screen all right here we go I'm gonna lock it in just lock it in there Make sure, make sure this lever is down, okay, before you put the water in. Now it comes to scale. These only a few scale fit into that section. Okay, the one of them is a Kaya scale. Uh, fits perfectly. I know you can, uh, you can use actually some other scales. I think a cheap Amazon scale works as well. It's all depend on which you're scared about. All right, here we go. Again, I'm trying to shoot for about like 45 gram. Okay. Hold on, let's give you guys a better view. Okay. All right, let's add some water. You guys see I'm going to hear a sizzling sound. I'm just going to go left slowly. And then hopefully I can show you guys. There we go. I'm just going to add, keep adding water. Okay. Just make sure there's no air bubble. Okay. Just make sure there's no air bubble. Top it up. There we go. Okay. All right. Again, uh, in the beginning, I'm going to start doing the pre-infusion. Uh, let's start the time here. I'm just going to give a little pre-infusion there. If I see some drops, This is more like nice and beautiful. I'm just gonna uh, stop at 50 gram, okay? I'm just gonna go a little fast, have some more liquid, okay? About like 25 seconds. Look at that, guys. That is beautiful. And I'm just gonna perch. Get all the water out. I just perch. Okay. So we have beautiful shot of espresso. Well, let's try this. Let's try that coffee. Okay, if you are just joining us for the first time, welcome to the live streaming. Okay. All right, here we go. So it is about 50 gram of espresso from uh, Costa Rica. Uh, Thermical process. Smells great. Because uh, earlier I, I made this coffee at home. Uh, I did about very whiny. Okay, very whiny. So that's why I changed the recipe a little bit. It's a little faster shot. Here we go, cheers. Oh yeah, it's much better. Roger Berry. The brightness, uh, brightness of like tangerine orange. Uh, finish is very sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. If I'm gonna change, if I'm gonna change at this point, uh, goodness, maybe grind size a little finer, tiny bit. Okay, not too much. Tiny bit finer. Yeah. Uh, maybe instead of 50 gram, maybe like 45 gram. 
So bring out that more, more texture as well. And a little bit more sweetness. Man. But again, I mean, Flair, uh, Flair 50 yeah, does fine job. Okay, okay, hold on a second. Here we got some few people uh, trickle in on the live chat. We got Brian. Okay, Brian as well. Hold on a second. We got the we got Sc uh, Scale Town Media. He's also joining us as well. Scale Town Media. JD. Uh, the, uh, Benjamin said the best coffee channel on YouTube. Oh man, you are very kind. Okay, very kind. I don't know about best channel. Okay, thank you for your passion. Yeah, I mean, I got. I mean, th this is fun for me, guys. Okay, this is fun for me. Okay. Okay, so we have a Brian say, I'm planning on getting flares soon, but not sure it's worth getting the 58. Uh, once in a while, a flare uh, having a sale, like 20% off, uh, take advantage of that coupon code, okay? And it's definitely, definitely worth it. Because I know uh, one of our friend Brian, uh, no, Ryan, he got his flare for like 300 bucks, discounting. He got two discount uh, from it, so, yep. Shout out to Carlos. We have a good news is also joining us as well. AC asks, how does Flare 50 compare to Lapaboni? Uh, completely different machine, okay? Uh, you cannot compare. So Lapaboni is like old technology. Obviously, Flare 58 is like new, old versus new. Man, so we are talking apple to orange. If you like, if you like milk-based drink, uh, I go with the Lapaboni. Uh, if you don't care about that, uh, go with uh, Flair. Okay. If you don't care about uh, milk, go with the Flair. Yeah. If you care about, uh, if you don't care about the Lapaboni, Flair 58. Yeah, the other way around. Okay. All right. Let's see here. John say I have a Flair too, but. Ready to get to travel only. Yeah, but Flare, I mean, the Flare Pro, here, let me show you something. So clean up for Flare 58. So really simple, just remove the portal filter because obviously it comes with a puck screen as well. Just tap it, that's it. So easy, okay. And then having the paper also helps as well. So overall, you're gonna get a very nice, clean, yeah. You can just toss it, and you are right, uh, ready for next coffee. And this heating elements uh, he are pretty fast as well. They heat up the guru pad really quick. Only thing, you need some hot water. Uh, you should be good to go. You should be, you know, get on to, uh, so it comes to workflow-wise, man, so much uh, user-friendly than uh, Lapaboni, because the Lapaboni is tricky, tricky machine. Okay, uh, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna do the live demo on the next couple of days, okay? Uh, make sure, uh, press thumbs up on this video right now. We've got 26, only, only 10 thumbs up, guys, come on. Come on now. We have Ed from Island, also joining us as well. Okay. Uh, Seraph say, it's hard to resist eating that puck. They look like cookies, isn't it? Kind of like, look like Oreo cookie there. You know what, maybe I should make the Oreo cookie in the a uh, puck look like on uh, my cooking channel okay by the way if you haven't uh, subscribed my cooking channel make sure to subscribe okay i do live cooking on my cooking channel so i'm gonna put the link down below well, oh, if not you can just go to hoon's kitchen that's it hold on uh elaine said is there a taste of paper from filter no uh you cannot taste you cannot taste the uh paper taste so you don't have to worry about it yeah because it's hard to yeah hard to taste what else I think we uh, uh, Scar Town has a pro and use it every day uh, Scar Town is biased okay Scar Town is biased Scar Town does not like Flare 58 I know for fact okay so yeah he is biased to uh, 58 Personally, uh, if, you know, hold on, I'm going to make myself, I got some little bit of coffee left. Let's do Americano. 
Okay. Well, let's make some Americano here. All right. Okay, hold on. All right. Okay, we have. Hold on. AC say what temperature is the water is fully heated? Uh, is it compared with the PID machines? Uh, I'm not sure exactly, but uh, comes to uh, 58, the heating elements, they got three levels, okay, low, medium, high. The high for your light roast, like light to medium, go to second. You know, if you are doing dark roast, you know, stay there in the bottom part. All right, hold on. Elaine say, interesting, I have a Sage uh, Brista Pro. Never use the manual machine. Uh, if you have a Pro right now, just keep using it, okay? Keep using it for a while. Uh, Pro is fine machine. So let's try the Americano. I mean, I, I prefer Americano over Turbo Shot. You know, it all depends on the coffee though. Yeah, okay, it all depends on the coffee. Coffee Cup say, what's the difference between 58 and Pro? Okay, Pro is like, the 58 has comes with a port filter. Just a regular port filter here, like, like this, 58 millimeter. The Pro comes with uh, kind of like baskets. It's not a basket. Hard to explain, but uh, let's see here. Uh, if, if you are search on YouTube, they got a lot of great comparison. Okay, check it out. Uh, Ralph said no sugar. No, no, definitely not sugar. Okay, less hassle to preheat. Yeah, I mean, it comes to heating on 58, so easy. Okay, definitely easy on 58. So if you are into manual machine, you don't want to spend too much money. Man, I'm telling you, uh, the 58 is fine. And also I got some, a few more level machine here at the, my coffee desk. I have the Rock ROK, and also I have the level presser. So we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna showcase some quite a few different uh, level machine next couple of, uh, couple of weeks. So we're gonna have some fun. You're gonna have some fun there, so. Uh, level machine is, man, if, if you have a level machine, If you're serious about coffee, especially serious about espresso, mo most likely you're gonna have more than one machine. So for getting a manual for your second machine, it'd be fun to have. For if, it, if a manual machine is your primary coffee machine, uh, you need to give a lot of thoughts, okay? There's good machines out there, so give some thoughts on it. All right. Okay, so Elaine, so how many coffee do you drink? Uh, I drink about maybe, uh, maybe one and a half to two at the most, okay? Definitely one. But I'm not the one, one of those person that drink coffee all day long, okay? Yeah, definitely not. Let's see, Sean, shout out to Sean from Australia. Okay, so Sean said, uh, do you compare all the level machine in one video? Uh, I might do that. It's going to be a long session, okay? Something like that, I got to do the edited video. Yeah, something like that, I got to do the edited video there. I might, I, I, I still might to do. That's a great idea. So we have a level presser, rock. I got flare 58. And also we have the flare uh, classic, okay? I have the flare classic. So I have a four. And then I do have, what do I have? I have a... Wakako, Waka, uh, Wakako Pico Presser. That's, we are looking at five, that's all manual, okay? And then we have a Wakako Nano Presser as well. So we have six, we got, yeah, we, got, we, have, we have quite a few, okay? Okay, uh, Sean say, what do you recommend, okay, what do you recommend for the Lapaboni Ma, he just got one. Heat sink, okay, uh, heat sink is, actually you can reach out to Turo at Coffee Sensor, all right? Uh, which mod do you have, or uh, which model do you have, Sean? Do you have a uh, post mill or pre mill? Depends, okay? So depend on the which, uh, 
I mean, if you have the, the newer one, the newer model, the post uh, 2000, the heat, the heat management is a lot. Post mill, good. Post mill, Lapaboni, good, because it does have a pretty good. Do you have, uh, do you have pressure gauge on it? I mean, one more you can do is the pressure gauge. It's really nice to have. Okay. If it doesn't, get one. Uh, if you have, if you already have pressure gauge, uh, I mean, heat sink is looks sharp. Okay, looks really good. But and also it does work as well. Okay, because uh, Lapabon is all about managing the heat. Okay, that's all about heat management. Not like Flare Fifty Eight. Flare Fifty Eight. Uh, this, this one has a built-in. Okay, so okay, here we go. Sean say I have the pressure gauge near the boiler. Okay, good. So maybe like get a nice heat sink. Uh, looks really good. Okay, and it looks really uh, sharp there. Uh, get the bottomless pore filter and the IMS filter basket. That's really good upgrade. 51 millimeter. Okay, do that. Oh, definitely, definitely get a bottomless and the. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's that's must. Okay, if you want to get into Lapaboni, it's nice to have it, especially bottomless, because the spider ones are pretty tall, pretty uh, pretty lengthy. So, how to fit the scale underneath there? So yeah, having the bottomless is definitely definitely plus. Okay, good. Yeah, get the IMS. Okay, get the IMS there. So get the like. 18, uh, 18 gram baskets because you got the bigger boiler so you have a lot more option than mine because I have the pre-millennium so I do about 14 gram shot if you have 51 millimeter like post mill you can do 16 to 18 okay folks it's about 29 people watching right now make sure a thumbs up on this live video here make sure a thumbs up okay so this coffee is fantastic all right and the great thing about, again, a great thing about 58 is you can, if a shot is too fast, you can ease it on the level. So, so you're going you're gonna to get a good shot every single time. Uh, compared to machine, you don't have a lot of, you know, this one is flow control. The, I have a little bit of Bianca there. So give you that, the additional uh, safety. If, if a, you know what, let me show you. Okay, let's do that. All right. So let's pull the shot with Bianca. Uh, let's find out, uh, is there any difference in taste? Okay. Uh, I'm just going to shut it up for a second here. I'm going to shut the machine off. Again, the Flare 50 is very easy to use. Let's put it that way. All right. So it comes to grind setting. It was a little bit fast. So I, I need to change my grinder size. Okay. On my P65, I'm going to go down to maybe under 9 there. You just got to play with it. All right, hold on a second here. Hold on a second here. We have uh, John say, off top, you have a link to small clip LED. That one, I got... Uh, oh. So that one, I got that one from uh, my camera, okay? Camera, uh, what, a couple of years ago. So when I purchased the camera, I think a light, not, not even light, it uh, comes with uh, this button, yeah. Yeah, uh, that, anyway. Uh, you can, I don't know where can I buy though. You know, let me, uh, let me look into it, okay? So that is a pretty nice, nice to have it. So you can see the, the bottom shot as well. Yeah, so that's pretty nice there, so. Yeah, anyway, so let's uh, pull the shot with the Bianca. So let's compare, okay? Is there any difference in taste, all right? So this is the bonus feature here, guys. This is the bonus round. This is the bonus round. I'm gonna be using the exact same setup here. Uh, or so I'm using the paper as well. Let's see, we change the grind size a little bit. 
and this is the same coffee already. Again, uh, we're gonna do the RDT. You know what? Uh, let's skip that this time, okay? Let's skip the RDT now. Yeah, let's skip it. So you're gonna see the difference. Yeah, let's skip the RDT. It's a lot more static. I'm just going to tap it on the top. Since, since this is magnetic, so you can, you know, shake it well. You see the, all the static. So a little bit of water definitely helps. Okay. A little bit of water definitely helps there. I'm just going to use my brush. Yeah. Okay, let's do some puck prep here, guys. Okay, a little bit of puck prep here. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna heat up my porter filter. If you are just joining us, uh, we are doing the live demo, uh, Flare 58 and Lolette Bianca, okay, there we go. Uh, again, comes to screen, the puck paper, I just like to use the steamer, okay, just like so. Okay, that's it. On the top. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do a quick WDT, that's the wise distribution technique there, to declump. I mean, they're usually pretty good anyway. I'm just going to level it. I'm just going to level. It looks pretty good there. Okay, I'm just gonna, just like last time, I'm just gonna temp it. And then puck screen. I'm just gonna put the puck screen. I, I like to heat up my puck screen first, okay? As heat it up. Especially these uh, flare puck screens are pretty thick, so. You don't want to have a cold metal heating on your espresso. All right, here we go, guys. Just lock it in. Okay. Let's put some shot here. It look like grinder size is too fine, as you can see, if you can see the pressure, 10 and a half, something like that, I like to control my flow rate, okay, so I want to lower it. So this is a great thing about uh, having a flow control, so you can save the shot. So right now I'm at about 10 bar there. I'm at 13 grams. It's gonna be a long shot, okay? Longer shot. But again, uh, I'm using the flow control to control the flow. 
the Arigat flow is coming out very nicely right now. There we go. I got 40 gram at 61 seconds. It's a pretty long shot, okay? But I got 40 gram out of it. Uh, if you don't have a flow control on it, it's going to be very extremely bitter, okay? But with flow control, let's find out. Let's find out there. Okay, here we go. So again, so last shot was about 50 gram, but this one about 40 gram, but a long shot, okay? The grind size is too fine for sure, so. 41 gram exactly. So let's try this coffee. 61 seconds, okay? That, that's pretty long. Here we go, cheers. I'm just gonna have a cup or sip. Actually, it's quite nice, okay, smooth. Lots of raspberry, tangerine. But the finishing notes, you feel like kind of like grapefruit uh, finishing your mouth, a little tart, but it's not like, you know, sour or bitter. It's not bad, okay? It's not bad for what consider the, uh, the 40 gram in 61 seconds. That's that, I mean, usually like 25 to 30 seconds, the three times longer. But with the flow control, we were able to save it. Okay, so that's a great thing about, okay, having the flow control on your machine. So, uh, comes to which one is better. I mean, it all depends. I mean, Flare 58 is capable, okay, capable machine. So, I mean, if you are thinking about it, I mean, you won't be disappointed. Let's put it that way, okay? Just get a nice grinder. If you are saving money on the machine, so yeah, just get yourself a nice grinder there. Okay, Jory asks, uh, hello from France. Do you think it's possible to do light roast with, without the electric version? You know what, it's gonna be tough. Cause especially light roast, you need that heat to extract. Uh, you need that heat to extract, you know, extract all the great tasting notes there. Yeah, so you don't, it definitely helps. I highly recommend it. Get the electric version for 58 if you like to do lighter roast. Yeah, definitely. Okay. But medium to dark, you're going to be fine without it. But yeah, especially a light roast. Yeah, you, you want that heat. Okay, coffee cove, flow control. Okay, I think that would help when I get my machine. Yeah, I mean, flare, uh, flow control is really nice to have. And... If you don't have flow control, you can always add on later. You can always add on later. They are very inexpensive as well. So, all right, I think we are good. Again, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, I think I think we are done for a day. Okay, I think we are done for that. We might do one more later. Uh, I think it seems like we have a lot more people show up on, kind of like after work hours. Again, this is not the best time, by the way. The one o'clock, which means uh, three o'clock east, uh, east Coast. The West Coast is about noon time there. So yeah, everybody working. Especially today's one Monday, right? Is that Monday today? Goodness, guys, it's Monday. Boy. We have uh, KV, KBVG from China. Okay, so that is the exact setup for, yep. Uh, P64, Flare 58, that's a fantastic combo. I know some of my viewers have the P100 with the uh, Flare 58 as well. So, again, uh, Flare 58 is definitely capable. Looks say like anyone giving away P, their P64. Uh, once in a while, they do give away. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, once in a while, they do give away. So, you can give it a try next time. <clears throat> John say, what day is it? Man, Monday is... I'm going to big shout out to people working today. Okay. I know, I know some of you, I know, I know for a fact in, in this chat room, decide not to go to work today. So I'm going to shout out to that person as well. You know who you are. Yeah. He told me he doesn't want to go to work today. Yeah, he doesn't want to make that money. Again, okay. uh, I hope you guys are having a great rest of the day. Uh, I'll be back later. All right. Let's do, let's do something else. I think I might, uh, yeah, we, we're going to figure something out.